Hello fellow kids, this is Trusty Alvarez um, here uh, to read you a story and have a little fun with you. All right, so um, as we're celebrating Hispanic or Latino Heritage Month, I thought it would be a great uh, idea to read you a bilingual book. So today what we're gonna be reading is a book called What Can You Do uh, With a Paleta? Okay, o que puedes hacer con una paleta? All right, written by Carmen Tafola or Tafoya and illustrated by Maggie Morales. All right. Donde las grandes rosas de terciopelo florecen rosas, rojas y color fuchsia, donde el acordeón toca dulce y juguetón, donde uh, de cada ventana sale el sabroso aroma de tacos do do doraditos, ta uh, tortillas con mantequilla o fruta jugosa. Where the big velvet roses bloom, red and pink and fuchsia, where the accordion plays sassy and sweet, where the smell of crispy tacos or buttery tortillas or juicy uh, fruta floats out of every window. Y donde pasa el carrito de paletas con su com, uh, campana tintoneada y su tos, uh, tesoro de paletas heladas de todos los colores del sarape. Ese es mi, ba mi barrio. Puedes bailar al son del acordeón, puedes oler los tacos, pero... And where the paleta wagon rings its uh, tinkly bell and carries a treasure of icy paletas in every color of the sarape. That's my barrio. You can dance to the accordion, you can smell the tacos, but... ¿Qué puedes hacer con una paleta? What can you do with a paleta? Puedes pintarle la lengua de morado y verde y asustar a tu hermano. Puedes, uh, you can paint your tongue purple and green and scare your brother. O quizá aprender a tomar decisiones difíciles, fresa o coco. Or maybe you can uh, learn to make tough decisions, strawberry or coconut. Puedes hacer nuevos amigos. You can make new friends. Pintarte un bigote gigante y azul. Give yourself a big blue mustache. O crear una obra a maestra. Or create a masterpiece. Puedes usar una paleta para refrescarte, como lo hace mamá. You, you can use one to cool off like mama does. Una vez, tío ganó un juego de béisbol por darle la paleta al batea, bateador, justo en, la, en el momento en que la, le lanzaban la pelota. Tío once won a baseball game by offering one to the batter right when the ball was being pitched. Puedes ayudar a la señora de la frutería a, a sentir el día menos largo. You can help the señora at the fruit stand make it through a long, hard day. Pero creo que lo mejor que puedes hacer con una paleta es chuparla y morderla y la, lamerla y tragarla y beberla en gotitas, donde las grandes rosas de terciopelo, terciopelo florecen, rosas, rojas y color fuchsia. But I think the very best thing to do with a paleta is to lick it and slurp it and sip it and munch it and gobble it down, where the big velvet roses bloom, red and pink and fuchsia. Donde el arco, arco, uh, arco, ar, <laughs> acordeón toca dulce y juguetón, 
donde de cada ventana sale el sabroso aroma de tacos doraditos, tortillas con mantequilla o fruta jugosa, where the accordion plays sassy and sweet, where the smell of crispy tacos or buttery tortillas or juicy fruta floats out of every window. Y donde pasa el carrito de paletas con su campana tineado y su tesoro de paletas heladas de todos los colores del sarape. Ese es mi barrio. And where the paleta wagon rings its tinkly bell and carries a treasure of icy paletas in every color of the sarape. That's my barrio. Okay, and so uh, there's also a... Uh, Something you can notice on the back of this book is the different colors and shapes and uh, flavors of paletas. So growing up, I actually uh, had two types of paleteros. We had the, 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 a person that would come by with paletas in a cart, and we would also have the, the drive-by one with the song. So I remember uh, paletas being part of my life growing up as well. So today we have actually, instead of a box, we're going to be opening up an olla. Today, magic hand took the day off because this one's heavy. So I'm just gonna use my own hands. <laughs> okay. All right, so in this olla, we have a lot of interesting things. And what I'm gonna show you are some things that remind me of my barrio or my neighborhood or my home. All right, so first thing that's sticking out right here, let's see. It's a maceta or a pot with a plant. All right, so this reminds me of home because these are all over my house. All right, my father has a green thumb and he likes to plant different things all over uh, the house and put them in little pots like this uh, so that uh, everything looks green and nice and vibrant. And I think it's a good way to remind us that we're living creatures and our plants uh, remind us that we need to tend to each other, right? We need to water ourselves and keep us, uh, each other safe. So I really feel at home when I see lots of plants around in somebody's home. Um, I literally was able to grab this from my dad's front yard and um, I love it because I see plants like these all over the place. And when I do uh, see specific ty types of plants, they remind me of home. All right, so we have that. What else is in here? Okay, yeah, I have this. It's a comal, all right? I uh, don't even know how to say it in English, but basically it's just a, a pan that you put on the fire where you heat your tortillas. And uh, this, in addition to, let's see what else. This pot right here, these are actually older than I am, right? These, these, these are, this is a pot where my parents make the frijoles, or the beans. So this is where they get deep fried. Notice that it's really warped and outdated, but it's really uh, a great reminder of our history, and this fed me as I grew up as a child, so it's a really, it's really kind of a sentimental piece of, uh, of cookware for me. So using these two things, uh, this is how we as a family stayed uh, alive, right? We ate tortillas and beans. And, that's, and sometimes just eating that uh, takes you back to feeling like you're at home. Uh, and then speaking of uh, food, I, I have these tamale leaves. If you look at this giant pot, a pot like this is usually uh, in my home used to make tamales during the holiday season. And um, Tamales really bring home the, the feeling of nostalgia of being together with family and cooking together. And so for me, as we look, think about uh, Hispanic or Latino Heritage Month, a lot of what connects me to my heritage is food, right? That's what you're gonna notice with the things that are in my olla right here. All right, what else? Oh yeah, we have some chiles, all right? So uh, this is kind of one of those things that reminds me of some senses, like when you smell, right? So growing up, my mom would uh, make salsa fresh from uh, chiles and other ingredients. And you could, uh, uh, sometimes during the day, you would just open your door from your room and you would just be hit in the face with the aroma of chili and you would just start coughing because it was just so intense. But even though it was kind of irritating our lungs, you knew that when you, that hit, that hit of the smell hit your face, that you were in for a really great meal later in the day with some fresh salsa, right? And then, um, all right, let's see. Okay, in here I have some snacks that I grew up with that I really enjoy. Duvalin was one of the uh, pleasures that I had as a child. You always hoped that the little goodie bags or the piñata had these in them. 
And when you saw them flying out of Piñata at a birthday party, that's what a lot of us would die for. And so that's one of my favorite things. And it re these remind me of uh, gatherings like that with family, right? So the, the, the taste and the smell of these things remind me of being a child at a birthday party with all your cousins and just having a good time and uh, enjoying the snacks uh, while you're celebrating uh, something that's really important, right? Okay, and it, it looks like that's all I have in my Oya today. All right, so I really hope that you enjoyed what you, uh, what you heard in the story. Uh, and I hope that you maybe take what you saw here with me and connect it to your family, right? Every family has its own uh, different elements that bring the sense of being safe and secure at home. Maybe have a conversation with your parents. What are some things that they uh, see around the house or they see at a grocery store or they see around the neighborhood that remind them of their childhood and then maybe you can connect with them, right? So our, all of us have different cultural backgrounds and it's uh, really amazing once you have these conversations about things that remind you of your past with, your, with adults in your family, uh, how much you can learn about your own culture and how much you can experience the culture uh, with them. Okay, so I hope that you take this and you uh, have some conversations with your family, okay? All right, this week uh, we have the same awesome shows you're familiar with, but on Friday we have a special show called Vote the Game, where you, all kids in Anaheim, can practice having your voice heard. It's important to vote for your values, for people and ideas you strongly believe in. And even though you aren't old enough to vote this November, you can start practicing having your voice heard by voting on the game that we should play on Fridays. So go to www.youtube.com slash Anaheim Elementary and click Community to vote. Have a great day. Thank you.